Working with heavy scenes and models which contains lots of polygons and vertices in Unreal Engine 5 probably is challenging for you, especially if you don't have a high-rated GPU and a high-rated laptop, a PC, and so forth. So I've decided to make a video about how to reduce and optimizing models that we want to use in our scenes in Unreal Engine. And this optimization process is going to be done with the help of Polygon Cruncher software. And if you want to download this software, you can check the link in the description. I've put it there. So let's continue. As you can see, I have a car in this scene and it contains approximately 900,000 vertices. And I've just optimized it 60%. And it is right here. Let's see the results. Let's just get a little bit closer to the car and yeah. It's here, and I'm sure of that. You can't see any differences in comparison with the reference model. I mean, this model has only 40% of the size of the reference model. And if you're talking about handling heavy scenes in Unreal Engine 5, this tool is a real game changer. All right, now it is time to jump into the 3ds Max Studio software to check the model and the process of optimization. So as you can see, this model has made by approximately 900,000 vertices. Let me just press the F4 key and now you can see the vertices and the polygons of this model better. And let's just rotate the model. And here we have lots of polygons either. All right, now that we saw the polygons and vertices of this model, I'm going to select all of the elements of this scene and let's just go to the utilities tab and here is the polygon crunchers button. And if you don't see that button, you can add it and select it from this list here. So let's just click on this polygon cruncher button and let's scroll down and click on the optimize selection button. And by doing that, a new window will appear on our screen, which is the Polygon Cruncher's user interface. And we're gonna get through the optimization process from here. So here is the car and the model that we've selected from the 3ds Max. And the first section that we're gonna describe is geometry section, and it contains two rollouts. The first rollout is about the borders, and it contains three options, crunch, protect, and exclude. If you're going to select the crunch borders option, it may cause some damages on your model. And if you are going to select the exclude borders, the optimization process tries to keep the borders as they were before the process. And beside it, if you're going to select the exclude borders option, the optimization process would take longer than the other two options. And the protect borders is between the crunch border and exclude borders. It means that it is the median option and I recommend you to select the protect borders option. All right, now let's just expand the second rollout from the geometry section. And it is about the corners and the options are the same as the previous one. I mean the borders plus ignore corners we have an ignore corners option here so let me just tell you something about this option if you had some model with sharp edges and corners and if the corners were important in the model some models like car as we do here i recommend you to select the preserve corners to give some priority about the corners and if you don't have some model with sharp edges, just click on the ignore corners. All right, now let's continue. As you can see here, we have another option and it is keep UV textures and make sure that you have checked this option and it will protect the textures of your model from optimization process. And finally, we reach to the optimization section and here we have some statistics about the model before the process and after the optimization process. So I'm going to start the calculating and it would take some moments to finish the process. So let's just wait for it to be done. And yeah, it is finished. All right, calculation is over and we have our car with all the materials and textures and here we have a slider and i'm gonna scroll this slider to the left side and this action leads to reduction in the number of polygons and faces and vertices of the model and if i zoom to this corner of the screen you can see that the model has been optimized for 
4% and although it's not a big deal but there isn't any differences so let's just continue and I'm gonna scroll it to the left side a little bit more and you cannot observe any differences even though I've optimized the model for 23% let's just rotate the car and see the model from other perspectives and I'm going to continue to optimizing the model to 43% okay just look at the edges, look at the corners, nothing happened. And it's really cool. We have reduced nearly half of the polygons of the model and nothing happened. There isn't any difference. And let's just continue and go further to 55 and nothing happened yet. Still no damages on the model. And let's see the other sides of the car. And yeah, it looks... Okay, so let's just go a little bit more and decrease the number of polygons to 67. And let's just look the model. And yeah, here we have some articles and some damages on the this side of the car. And in order to avoid from these articles and the damages, I'm going to increase the number of polygons. And as you can see, let's just increase it a little bit more and it looks pretty fine, much more better. And yeah, I think it's really good. We have reduced the number of polygons to nearly 60% and it's really cool. Look at the numbers, look at the difference. And let's just take a look to the model. I'm sure that you can't see any differences with this model in comparison with the reference. So let's just click on the apply button here and let's just go back to the 3ds Max and here we have our optimized model. So let's take a look from this perspective and the model is ready to import to Unreal Engine 5. So let's just go back to the Unreal Engine 5 and let's have a final comparison between the reference model and the optimized one. This is the high poly model without any reduction in the vertices and faces. Just look at the edges and corners and faces. Just keep them in your mind. So, and after that, let's just change the level and take a look to the optimized one. And as you can see, there isn't any significant change and difference between this one and the previous one. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope you found it useful. Just don't forget to check the other Unreal Engine videos in the channel. And please leave your questions and opinions in the comment section. See you in the next videos.